Artificial neural networks are usually designed like a towering stack of neuronal layers. Why not just one big layer? Imagine a neural network as a bustling city. Each layer in this city has its own unique role and purpose, just like the different districts in a city. The first layer, akin to the city's entry point, receives all the raw data. This data could be anything, sounds, images, text, anything that the network is designed to process. Next comes the hidden layers, the bustling downtown of our city. Here, the magic happens. Each hidden layer processes the information it receives from the previous layer, extracting and refining features, like a game of pass the parcel, where each layer unwraps a piece of the mystery. The final layer, our city's exit point, presents the final processed information, the result of all that teamwork. It's like the city council presenting a well-planned urban development project after months of work. Why layers, you might ask? Well, because each layer is specialized. Each hidden layer learns to recognize complex patterns based on the simpler ones recognized by the previous layer. It's like building a house, brick by brick, layer by layer, until you have a complete structure. Here's another way to look at it. Imagine you're trying to recognize a face. The first layer might identify simple features like edges. The next layer might combine these edges to recognize shapes, like the outline of a nose or the curve of a mouth. Further layers might put these shapes together to recognize the whole face. This is the beauty of a layered neural network. It's a journey from simplicity to complexity, from raw data to meaningful understanding. The layered structure allows the network to learn from simple to complex patterns, just like how we recognize a face. 